abusive, especially here. Sometimes you play this game and you're like, let's go. And other times you're like, I freaking hate this game. I'm gonna delete this game and never play it again. But then you get a dub and you're like, yes, sir. And so knowing we're gonna get abused, we play it one more time. And all we're left with is shame. So here are five tips to make NBA 2K22 fun again. Focusing on the purpose while you're playing the game, like for some, reach legend, get that 2K logo, boast your winning percentage, you know, all that 2K cloud stuff. And I'm not knocking, you know, anything if that's you, but like, is it taken away from your ability to have fun in the game because you're so focus on those things that very few people are able to attain. For me, you know, I'm just trying to play with my friends, you know, promote simulation gameplay because I'm a huge sim head and just wish the game would play like real basketball, record gameplay for my content, and man, just have fun vicariously, you know, living through 2K because, you know, these knees are old and can't quite do what I used to do. So just trying to have fun playing ball. So you might want to consider you know, reevaluating your purpose if you're not having fun because you're focused on things that are really outside of your control when it comes to 2K and, and the things that we know happen in this game. So one of the things I had to do was simply lower my expectations. You know, we know about, you know, pre-order hype irritation and then them not delivering broken promises. You know, the, the game being so bad that we delete it, but yeah, here we all are again. You know, for me, it was the fact that I want this to be a simulation style game, and it irritates me that the game doesn't play like simulation, but more like arcade basketball more often than not. And so that's not something I can control. I also can't control other people in the way that they play the game. So there are all kinds of people that are even making videos teaching other people how to simply exploit the game. I can't control that. What I can do is just simply do the best I can to, you know, play the game in a simulation style fashion and maybe encourage others to do the same. What is it that is keeping you from having fun playing this game again? So another thing that you can do to make 2K fun again is to have a team first mindset. You know, most of us are playing Wreck right now, which means it's a 5v5, which means it's, it isn't just about you. you know, we got to learn to get over ourselves. You know, it just simply isn't about us. You know, one of the helpful things you can do to be a team player, set off ball screens. You know, if you're not the center designed to go set screens for the ball, you know, get out of the, the, the ball handler's way and go set an off ball screen to get somebody open. You know, recognize mismatches. Feed that person. You know, somebody's got a tall guard and they've got a, a midget on them because, you know, that person wasn't able to go make another build and they went with uh, meta at the start of the game. You know, that's a mismatch. Feed that person in a post. Let them post fade on them all day. You know, whatever the case may be. You know, of course, that's my build. So I'd appreciate if y'all pass the ball to me when I have that situation. But hey, team first and you will start having the fun again because you will get to eat too. So a fourth tip would be to simply play within your my player's abilities and role. Now I said a little bit more about this in the last video, but you know, this time I'm just going to remind you that shooters need to shoot, slashers cut, catch lobs, dunk in the lane, you know, playmakers distribute the ball, bigs get boards, blocks, protect the paint. You know, if you're not doing the things that your build is designed to do, you greatly decrease your team's opportunities for success as well as your own. It's that simple. final tip would be to simply not take this game or the people playing this game too seriously because you know in the end it is just a game you can't control what other people do as I stated earlier but you can't control how you respond and so with that being said you know with these few tips that you've seen here what are some tips that you could provide people who are at that place where they're like not having fun at the game they're on social media, you know, just talking about how much trash the game is and what the game lacks and what the game needs to do and shouldn't have done and all this kind of stuff. What tips do you have for those people that will allow them to just focus on the game 
being fun. Is that even possible? Leave a comment down in the comment section below, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you found value in this, please again, drop a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel or a returning viewer, you know, please subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you'll know when new content drops because you know we're going to be bringing lots of uh, new material as material comes available because again we're all about what it is what it means and how it affects your bottom line when it comes to your money and this game we call nba 2k22 as always remember love god love people peace